Hi, my name is Patrick and I know nothing about car care. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Detailing 101. This is a very relaxed pose for Detailing 101. In today's episode, we are going to be talking you through pretty much anything you need to clean dashboard, carpets, interior based items. In last week's episode, you saw the Detailing 101 of leather cleaning and leather protection and care. Um, this week, we're going to delve into pretty much the plethora of products that we have for the rest of your interior. Um, it can be quite confusing, I think, mm -hmm. Dale, um, as there are quite a few, as you see here. So let's talk about all of the different interior products we have. Um, these are not all of them. Uh, these are like a select few that I think are great to point out and have a basic kind of use for your interior. So we have the carpet and interior cleaner. So this is great for your fabric seats, your mats, anything like that. And then we have two interior detailers here. So the quick interior detailer will clean without dressing, so it will leave a matte factory finish, whereas the ultimate interior detailer will clean and protect, so it's going to provide that UV protection and also give a bit of a satin sheen to the uh, interior. It's my personal favourite interior detailer. And then we have the new car scent protectant, so you can put this on there to provide um, a bigger boost of protection, UV protection on the plastic surface, especially if you have a lighter kind of vinyl plastic dash that can be affected by the sun rays, especially in the summertime. Then we have carpet and fabric refresher so this is the kind of like nice finishing touch um, once you've hoovered it all cleaned it all down spray the mats and kind of fabric areas with the refresher and it's just going to give a really nice new car scent then we go for the multi peps cleaner now if anyone knows me or seen these previous kind of detailing one-on-one -on -one videos it's kind of a favorite product of mine solid because it's a great all-rounder so for dirty grimy plastic areas or around the seats or ingrained plastics that are really kind of grimy if you've bought a car that's been daily run every day and you know just needs a bit of love great to go around the whole surface with that with the multi-purpose so these are a kind of whole range um, if I was going to break it down into what we're going to be using today we're going to be using the carpet interior cleaner so we're going to be using that with a vacuum cleaner to really kind of foam up and drag the dirt out we're going to be using the heavy duty cleaner for the kind of hardened plastic carriers then we're going to be using the quick interior detailer to kind of freshen up all the plastics on the dashboard and, the, and the, around the stereo and all the sensitive areas so I'm going to use the the new car scent protectant to give it, provide that UV protection. Then we're going to use the fabric refresher, give it that final touch. So they're going to be the nice simple products we're going to get Patrick using on his interior. I'll come back into shot. I probably was still really awkwardly just there <laughs> for the most of that. But that's basically the rundown of the products that we're going to use today. Um, the products that we have in the Maguire's range. If you're not already part of the Maguire's UK YouTube channel, then hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell to get notified when we release a new video. And let's crack on with this episode. So, taking a glance at my interior, you can see that the carpet has quite a few marks, a lot of dirt. Um, the carpet is pretty disgusting. Um, kind of back tracking a little bit you can look at the plastic trims here obviously a lot of scuff marks from where I've been getting in and out of the car um, dashboard wise it looks a bit tied to me um, probably could do with some protection some sprucing up um, so yeah it's definitely in need of some love so without further ado let's crack on and get on with the first product which will be so we're gonna start out with these two so we're gonna go around the kind of plastic areas around the bottom of the seats with the heavy-duty purpose cleaner and we're going to do we're going to agitate the carpet and fabrics using the carpet interior cleaner. First things first, let's take out these little floor mats. Yeah, exactly. You never want to take on doing your interior without taking the mats out if you can. Um solid because there's a lot of dirt and grime underneath it and you don't want to put a lot of effort into doing everything around it. Then for someone to have a look in the car and do that, mm. it needs to be a little bit gutted. So, we'll take those out. It's okay. pretty grimy. It's pre <laughs> that is absolutely disgusting. Just like my door card, do you remember that bit? Yeah, uh. I'm still haunted by the day that we took on this interior. I mean, I'm, I like paint. <laughs> <laughs> carpet interior cleaner. Now, my biggest kind of hint when talking to anyone about doing their, their carpet is not to saturate it with the product and then rub it in with like a cloth or a, a brush or anything like that. You wanna agitate it and drag it out because if you rub it in with a towel, you're gonna to push it into the fibers and then it's never really gonna go away. So we wanna kind of agitate it and drag it out. Right. 
So, here we go. And then that. So you can use quite a lot, but you just mean instead of rubbing it in, exactly. Like maybe use a Hoover to extract it extract out. Extract it out. You don't want to push it in. It. Exactly that. There he is. Like I say, really want to start dragging it out. If you want, you can agitate it with a soft nylon brush beforehand and then drag it out. Right, okay. If you've got a good enough hoover, you should be able to just... Now, I'm sure there's a lot of detailing enthusiasts that are probably watching this and probably saying, why don't you just, why don't you just use a steam bag? <laughs> so, I'm sure there's a lot of um, detailing enthusiasts that are watching this saying, well, you just use a steam bag. Now, detailing 101, isn't for the advanced detailing enthusiasts. I don't know what a steam back is. Exactly. It's for, um, these are things that people are going to be doing at home. Not everyone has access to that kind of equipment. Now, a steam back uses steam and the kind of suction power of a vacuum yep. to clean and suck at gotcha. the same time. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But we're not doing that. This no. is detailing 101. This is kind of nice at home car care made easy. Yeah, absolutely. This is already looking fantastic. Yes. Like I say, agitate it as much as possible. On these areas here. Because it's the plasticky kind of vinyl setting, yeah. we can use a microfiber towel to remove that dirt and grime. Sweet. Ah, the detailing there we go. mitt. So we've got the detailing mitt. Oh, wow. Dirt it. Dirt it. Oh, you look very bright, there you go. So, in some of the grimier areas, in the kind of hard to reach corners and stuff like that, we did need to agitate it using a kind of soft nylon brush. Um, but like I say, we wanted to drag it out rather than push it in. So it was kind of integral to using that with the vacuum and plenty of the carpet interior cleaner to do that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat that process on the mats, um, but we're gonna do it obviously on the workbench and we don't wanna do it on the floor because you don't wanna drag stuff through the mat um, with a hoover. So we're gonna repeat that process and then we're gonna talk about clean the dashboard um, with the Quick Interior Detailer. Cool, so the product we're gonna be using to clean the dashboard is the Quick Interior Detailer Cleaner. Um, nice and easy, spray it to the cloth and wipe the dash down. And the reason we spray it directly? So we don't get any overspray onto any of the glass or any places that you don't really want to be using it. But it's doing a lovely job of cleaning all of the dash, giving it a really nice, fresh OEM Plus look. Um, and also not leaving a finish, like it's a satin kind of look, factory. almost. Yeah, factory finish. So you don't want it to look dressed. No, that is looking fab. And you can clearly see from the mitt, there's quite a lot of dirt on there, which you might not be able to see. So that's good, good stuff. So, what is the next step after we've cleaned? So we've cleaned it, now we want to provide a bit of protection for it. So we want to give it the UV protection using the new car scent protection. Um, this is going to, especially on a lighter dash like this, you want to prevent it from fading in the sun. Um, so adding that little bit of UV protection every few washes is going to boost that protection. And it's going to make it smell incredible as well. Perfect. So, even cut applicator pad, because again, we're just gently applying this and we want to use a pad. We're going to spray directly to stop the overspray. Like that. And then we're just going to gently work it into each section at a time. Like I say, can smell it. it smells awesome. Yeah, it's so it's the same incredible. smell as our new car scent aerosol bomb. And that's it. We're not going to overwork it. We're just going to reapply when we move to a new area. I like say so what I'm doing is nice, kind of clean lines, so we just get a nice uniform finish. This will gently clean as well, so it's a good maintenance product as well as just the dressing. If you find that it's a little too glossy for you, if it's a bit over application, just get a brand new microfiber towel and then wipe it again.
Obviously, if you are going to do the steering wheel, uh, we want to make sure you wipe it down with a towel after. So it's not probably, greasy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No problem. Nice. Good job. Dip. Dip. Dipers. Dipers. Right. Final bit. Put the carpets back inside. And we are going to be using this bad boy. Focus. Focus. The Carpet and Fabric Refresher Odour Eliminator. Um, this, I guess, is the same sort of thing as uh, like a air freshener, air hanger. Yeah, so if you don't want a hanger, um, hanging from the mirror, or you don't want to use an air bomb or anything like that, you just want a quick, like something to keep in the car, this Fabric Refresher is fantastic for that. And it's got that new car scent as well, which complements the already new car scent protection we've got on there so it's all imagine you don't have a mixture of smells perfect and it's as simple as kind of just spray on the yeah carpet. just like say don't go too mad uh, make sure you're in a well ventilated area that's awesome. it awesome look at how clean that carpet area is i love it so that's it i actually found that really fun oh good for some like it was really satisfying seeing kind of the dashboard get de-dusted cleaned and protected. Yeah, exactly, and it's super easy. It didn't take as long at all. Nope. So just to recap of the products that we used during this episode, we started off with the carpet and interior cleaner. So we used this on the carpets to get those really kind of saturated in, in the carpet and interior cleaner. And we want to extract the dirt, if I'm right in saying. Exactly that. Um, instead of rubbing it all in, um, obviously you can use a brush or something to agitate it kind of after you've done the first vacuuming up of stuff. Um, but that really did a really good job of cleaning the carpets and making them look fresher. Then the next thing was the carpet interior detailer cleaner. This yeah. is really good stuff as well. So this managed to clean all the dashboard, de-dust, like I say, and not leave a finish. Um, exactly. I think that's an important thing to say because not everyone likes a shiny finish. So that was really good stuff. And what we did after cleaning that, we wanted to protect it so we don't get any kind of UV lights hitting the dash and scarring it or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, we want to avoid that fading. We want to avoid that UV damage, so we put the protection on there, give it a little bit of protection over the summer months. Good job. And let's not forget about the heavy duty multipurpose cleaner. This is like a hero stuff. It is the hero. Product. Did you see how fast I said that? <laughs> heavy duty multipurpose cleaner. Um, we use this on kind of the really dirty, grimy areas on the on the kind of the plastics on the floor and the footwell, and on the door cards and stuff as well on the lower sections, um, just to kind of get those hard, grimy bits off. So to finish it all off, we use the carpet and fabric refresher. Um, what's really cool about this, I've just seen is odor eliminator. Uh -huh. What does this mean, Dale? So it does mean if you do have a slight spillage in the car, you know, over time. If it's a drink or a bit of food and it's hiding, it can cause a bit of a bad smell in the car. Once clean, use this, it will deodorize the car as well as give it that fresh smell as well. I like so like mud, I guess, that's really worked itself. Yeah, the that kind of yeah, exactly that, that kind of coffee mildewy, most. Yeah, anything that's gonna leave a bit of a bad smell in the car over time. You know, we all use, sit in our cars a lot, we eat in our cars, we drink in our cars, um, when not driving. And um, yeah, it's just a great product, all round product for giving the freshness and removing those odors as well. Perfect. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I actually have really enjoyed this episode. Like you say, you can get pretty obsessed with detailing the interior of your car. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching. Make sure you liked and subscribed to the Maguire's UK YouTube channel. Stay tuned for the next episode of Detailing One On where we tackle the glass. Perfect clarity system, glass cleaner, compound, sealant, all the good stuff to make it nice and clear. And also, I know we're doing headlights in another video. Let's do a headlights in another video. Another video? I want to show you in one video. No. Another video. Yeah, let's baby. Good. Steps. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>Need to agitate it a little bit. Exactly. Right. Rush. Yeah, so some of the kind of grimier areas, um, obviously where's content kind of uh, action with the old shoes. Um, that's terrible. You can come in a bit. So, what is this? Oh no, I've got muck in there. Oh, thanks, Dad. So, okay. Get off me.